Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very real working mom morning routine. Nothing glamorous to see here, but very, very real. So if you want to see what my morning looks like, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I typically roll out of bed between 5 and 5.30 every single morning, depending on if I need to wash my hair and blow dry it or not. This morning I did not, I just needed to rinse off in the shower quick, which I did. I did not wash my hair this morning. As Soon as I get out of the shower, I brush my teeth. Um, I just use like the Crest Scope. I don't know if anybody really cares to know that, but that's what I use. So, um, and my t-shirt, I know I'll get questions on this, is from Pebby Ferretti. So anyways, and then I just brush my hair out, dry shampoo it, if it needs to be dry shampooed, and then I put my lotion on, which is the Laneige, is um, what I've been using on my face, and then I use my Beauty Blender and my NYX Born to Glow foundation. Now this does set a little bit more yellow um, right away, but then as it oxidizes, it turns more into like a pinky undertone, which is really um, nice for my skin tone. It matches perfectly, so it just looks a little bit yellow. Um, here in my awful awful um, bathroom lights I know I need to get new bathroom lights but then I go in with the L'Oreal infallible infallible and then I just like set my foundation um, I have lots of like wrinkles starting I know you guys not even 30 yet getting those wrinkles in especially like my smile lines and my forehead lines because I'm very expressive then I go in with my Tarte bronzer and I will just bronze up my cheeks a little bit, get in my cheekbones, and then also in the tops of my forehead, and then I squish my brush and contour my nose, um, nothing fancy, and then I just blend it all out with a fluffy brush. Um, I've been using this native deodorant for my deodorant lately, absolutely love it. I use like the jasmine and something, um, and then I go in with my bedhead shine spray just to give my hair a quick shine. My Amica hairspray to keep the frizz at bay because I have very thin, frizzy hair. Um, and then I will get dressed for work for the day. Now, I do want to mention that Kaya has been sleeping in her own room, but usually around 3 in the morning, she will still hop in our bed. We co slept with Kaya for the first couple of years, like up to about two and a half, three. Um, and now from like three to four, she's just been sneaking into bed with us. Um, I use Jo Malone Wood Sage and Salt Sea Salt for my perfume. It's my absolute favorite. It's technically a cologne, but um, and then I this morning I did not do the laundry last night. I didn't fold it, so I grabbed outfits for the kids out of the dryer, and then I wake Kaya up. I always get her up first so that I don't have to wrangle a crawling baby. I have done it the other way before, and Riker will get into the wet shower. Um, but I'm brushing Kaya's hair here with a Lice Prevention Detangler Spray. Um, I will have it linked down below for you guys. And I don't know, I'm just like paranoid about lice and anything I can do to prevent her from getting that. I will um, absolutely do it. But anyways, after she's ready to go, hair is brushed. Most of the time she doesn't let me put a ponytail in. But then I will go into Riker's room and wake him up. Look at his sweet little body. He's so cute. Mornings in my favorite with him. Oh, look at those stretches. Oh, sneezes. Oh, he's just the absolute sweetest baby in the morning. And Kaya will always help me get him up. She's so eager to like get in there and say hi to her brother. And then I just give him kisses and loveys and I hold him. And he's so tiny and sweet and his curls are coming in. I think he's going to have hair very similar to Kaya's. And it like melts my heart. Just like a curly blonde haired little bro. Oh my gosh. He's just so sweet. Look at that little baby. So anyways, and then I get him dressed. Um, and then as soon as he's dressed, I make sure that I throw the diaper away. By the way, their room was an absolute disaster. I have not even been trying to keep up with it lately. So I'm sorry, but this is real, real mom life. Anyways, after the kids are all dressed, I will go downstairs and then I make Riker a bottle. He's usually hollering at me by this time and he is on like whole milk right now um, instead of um, formula. We did almond milk with Kaya right away, but with Riker we've been doing whole milk and he seems to be tolerating it just fine. Then I will fill my water bottle. I usually have three or four of those a day, you guys. 
Um, then I take the kids downstairs and we start getting ready to head out the door. I will give the kids the socks on and their shoes on and then I put Riker in his car seat. Now this car seat he is outgrowing. He is on the very like verge of like the weight limit. Um, we do have a big boy car seat for him so we just need to make the switch over. Oh my baby's not a baby anymore. It makes me so sad but Kaya will get her shoes on and her jacket on and then I'll slip into my shoes and my jacket and then I grab the kids and we head out the door. Usually Kaya is like sneaking out of the door in front of me and trying to like run away so I'm hollering at her here but um, and then I get them in the vehicle. Now we still have a lot of snow here in Minnesota and I have these huge snow banks and they're awful. Look at me climb onto the snow bank. I mean I, one of these days I'm going to totally biff it and fall right into my vehicle. Um, and this morning was a recycling morning, so I took the recycling bin out and I tossed it at the end of the driveway. And then I coaxed Kaya to get into her car seat because she hates her car seat. Just got in the vehicle and my windshield wiper is gone once again. And it's snowing and I have no way of um, wiping the snow, so that's good. The last thing that I do is I head to the gas station. Look, I've got dirt all over me from landing on the vehicle, but I go to the gas station, I get coffee, I get the hazelnut coffee, and then I pump three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, cover her up, and I'm good to go. This coffee is like $2 and is such a steal. I don't have a Starbucks on my way to work, so I don't stop at Starbucks. I mean, I could like go out of my way, but then I grab Kaya a juice, and then we're good to go. Hey. So, I go in there, I get breakfast pizza. It's so good. I just eat the toppings off and then I get the Crest Riker. I have my coffee, Kaya has her juice, and then I always grab a beef stick for like a snack for lunch. Um, because they're low carb, I need to go to Costco and like get like a whole bag of them, but that is what I do. All right, you guys. Well, now I just bring the kids to daycare and then I head off to work and that is my morning routine. It is very real. Um, you guys know that I'm all about being real here on my channel. So, nothing like pretty fluffy and beautiful about my morning routine. It is very like roll out of bed and get to work as soon as I possibly can. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna scoot off to work this morning, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you guys in a couple of days for a weekend vlog. What do you got? Did you get a little toy? Oh, look, you got, what's his name? Uh, it's not Dennis, what's his name? Is it Dennis? What's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. He's from Hotel Transylvania. So anyways, all right guys. We'll see you in a couple days for a weekend vlog. Okay, bye! Bye!